exterior de España. English Language Service. Novel one would have thought could have been devoted to influenza, epic poems to typhoid, odes to pneumonia, lyrics to toothache. But no, with a few exceptions, literature does its best to maintain that its concern is with the mind. These are words written by Virginia Woolf in 1926 from her essay on being ill. In this essay, the American author ponders on the absence of the theme of illness in literature. But this is an absence that is slowly being filled, especially over the course of the past century. There has been a profound shift uh, in which the body has become an important component of human identity together with the mind. Dr. Isabel Duran of the Complutense University in Madrid is an expert in the representation of illness in literature and media, which is quite a recent phenomenon. We will be discussing with her about why there has been a shift in the arts and in our way of thinking about illness. You are listening to the English language broadcast of Spanish National Radio with myself, Marilyn Quintana, and Amy Egan. Today we have help from some technician, Marcos Barril, and production help from Cristina Dorado and Marina Selva. Now, the news guys. Friday morning, 800,000 passengers were affected by an attack on French railways. Authorities speak about mass sabotage as several individuals simultaneously set fire to signaling boxes on high-speed trains. The attacks happened merely hours before the opening ceremony of the Olympic Games, for which the city has been sealed off and the largest security operation has been activated with more than 45,000 agents deployed. The attacks on the railway service have caused delays in several trains and cancellations in Paris London trains. French Minister of Transport Patrice Bergriet assured the issues might continue throughout the weekend. And in the United States, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu continues his visit amid protests against the attacks in Gaza. On Thursday, Vice President Kamala Harris met with Mr. Netanyahu. She assured she does recognize Israel's right to defend itself. So I just had a frank and constructive meeting with Prime Minister Netanyahu. I told him that I will always ensure...